Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. Lift the logo on the radiator grill, insert the key to release and open the bonnet. Take off the engine cover. You will then be able to see the diesel filter. Using a socket wrench, a small extender and an 8mm socket, unscrew the holding plate on the diesel filter flange. Push on the coloured part of the diesel inlet hose, then pull towards you to extract it. Repeat the operation on the diesel outlet hose by making little back and forth movements. With one hand, lift the flange, tilt it, and pull on the electric connector. You can now remove the flange. Unscrew the flange by turning it anti-clockwise. Place the cover that holds the filter into the liquid collector. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos, How to Make a Liquid Collector. Drain the diesel remaining in the flange into the container and clean it using brake cleaner fluid and paper towels. Separate the filter from the cover. Take the new filter and compare it with the old one to ensure that they're identical. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the cap on the filter. Replace the seal with the one provided in the new filter box, making sure you oil the surface properly. Do the same with the holding stud on the diesel filter. Take a new filter and insert it into the cover. You should hear a click when it locks into place. Take a container and fill it with diesel. Fill the flange three quarters of the way and screw the flange cover back on.
the flange back in place, then reconnect the electric connector. Clip the diesel inlet and outlet hoses back on. Screw the flange retaining plate back on using a socket wrench, a small extender and an 8mm socket. Check the filter is working properly by turning your car on. Now switch off the ignition again. Put the engine cover back on. Operation completed.